video. This is the number one thing that I wish that I learned sooner. If I knew this at the start, I would literally be 10 times forward. And here it is. Once, so you want to go out there and you want to prove the business model to yourself. That confidence, prove the confidence to yourself, whether it's online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, private label, whatever it is, it's not important. But here's the thing that's important. Here's the thing that stopped me moving forward 10 times faster than what I could have done. Once you've figured something out, whatever model you do within Amazon or e-commerce in general, but let's stick to Amazon. That's what this channel is about. Once you've figured that out, once you've got that knowledge, once you've invested money, you've tested it, you've you know done it for a year or something, you've figured out the general consensus of what it is and you know how not to lose loads of money you're always going to lose a bit of money in business you know taking risks that's what happens but as long as you're making profit the majority of the time once you've figured that out once you've got the knowledge the base knowledge or a little bit more than just base knowledge then you have to stop holding back and you have to 10x your the the the, the you have to 10x the input that you're putting into the business and then your output is going to be 10x. So what do I mean by that? Well, I figured the business model out, which back in the day was online arbitrage, right? Which we don't do in the UK anymore, but we still do in the US. But once I figured that out, what I should have done was jumped, invested loads more money. And this isn't financial advice. This is what I should have done. Looking back, I would I should have invested 20, 30, 40 grand and put a lot of work up front into the systems, operations, more virtual assistants, um, you know, outsourced it quicker, blah, 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 to, to really scale it up. And I would be in a right, and that compound effect, the output of that would have got me 10 times further than where I am currently now. And that's the truth. But what I did was that once I figured the business model out, once I got good at it, once I started earning profit from it, what I did was just sort of maintain this very average, very, very slow growth in, in the business, which was okay. And obviously my journey's my journey, your journey's your journey. You know, my friend Thomas Parkinson, his journey's his journey, for example. But what I should have done is instead of had that that really slow growth, like you know, which I'm I'm still in now. Really, it's only this year where I've decided we're absolutely going to hammer it more and take more risks. Although I've still been very successful in my own right in this business model, in this business in general, in selling online and stuff. What I should have done was push my fears aside, invested loads more money, and skyrocketed myself out my comfort zone onto the next level a lot sooner. And I honestly think I could have pushed myself a year ahead at least a year, maybe even two years ahead of where I am or where I was and really skyrocketed my results. And right now I could be doing seven figures already rather than hoping to do that this year. So once you figure it, so that's that, that's the key lesson that I wish that I did sooner, implemented sooner, the thing that I would say to newbies. And don't, and this is a, it's a very fine line between doing this prematurely and at the right time. You've got to have mastered it in a, some sort of way. And you probably can't do that for around about eight months to 12 months. And even then, you're still not going to know anywhere near as much someone like me knows that's been doing this for three years. But you know enough. And once you know enough, you have to invest more time, more resources, um, whatever, more finances, if you've got them. Once again, it's not financial advice, just what I would do. Into expanding the team which is what I should have done a long time ago. And I need to take this advice to expand my team even more now. You know, it's really easy to give advice when you know that you should be doing this, but I'm sort of gradually getting there myself as well. You should be pushing further. You should be pushing harder. And if you know deep down you should be pushing harder, then this is right for you. Some people want to maintain that normal business. The reason that I didn't 10 exit was because quite frankly, before that, I wasn't doing very well anyway. So I didn't want to risk that income going away. I needed that money. Um, but what's even better is that if you don't need that money, wow, you're in a powerful position and you should absolutely be going for it in 10x if that's what you want to do. So that's the key lesson that I learned. Once you've mastered it to a certain extent, smash 
that green button and get yourself to that next level as quickly as possible. Don't hover around this small area and have really small growth like I did for about a year after I figured the business out. I hope that video has helped. Share it with anyone. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. You're watching Hayden's FBA TV. What's going on? Quick interruption here just to introduce my new sponsor. So I'm now sponsored by Prepared For You. I've been using this prep center for a fair few months now and they've been fantastic, okay? Um, if you are interested in trying them out, I've got a link below. Click on the link below, the Prepared For You link, and you can get 50 pounds off um, your first month with them. Type in Hayden into the coupon code when you're signing up to your desired package and you can get 50 pounds off. As I say, really recommend them. I've enjoyed their service and yeah, very efficient, very communicational and I will see you in the next video. Let's start in.